Well, Anita, another celebrity using their voice to advocate for the victims of Hamas's brutality. Friends co-star David Schwimmer taking to Instagram to call out skeptics of Hamas's sexual assaults. He writes, quote, why do so many refuse to believe, despite all the evidence on camera and in testimony, the women, children and men brutally assaulted by terrorists on October 7th? Where is their outrage? In the weeks and months that followed, it became clear their activism, their advocacy is conditional. They'll fight like hell for all victims of sexual violence, unless they're Jews. Let's bring in Bethany Mandel, the co-author of Stolen Youth. And Bethany, uh, David Schwimmer references a specific article from the New York Times. It's entitled Screams Without Words, How Hamas Weaponized Sexual Violence on October 7th. What happened and why isn't more, why aren't more people talking about it? The brutality that the New York Times were able to document over the course of months of research is is really horrifying. And I think anyone who has sort of gotten a big picture view of what Hamas did on October 7th, even those folks are going to be shocked by the level of brutality that was that was documented by The New York Times. Um, things that honestly we can't really talk about on television. And I, I really urge all of your your viewers to go read the New York Times piece. And that's not something I say very often, <laughs> but the New York Times did a really, really important thing here. And it's it's important that everyone read it, both left and right. I mean, this was this there was a lot of good research done here. This was real journalism that we don't often see from the New York Times. Um, but Schremer is right. What's really disturbing is in the face of all of that, there are still so many deniers. I mean, these are these are Holocaust deniers. These are modern day Holocaust deniers. And Schwimmer rightly says, you know, all of these folks who said believe all women and and they are for women's rights and, and talking about sexual violence against women for the last, you know, 20, 30 years, where are they? The vast majority of them are silent. And that goes from, you know, rev regular celebrities up to the UN. Is David Schwimmer alone here? Have other actors joined him? Do you think other actors will join him? I mean, there's honestly not that many who have come out and, and said something. Deborah Messing has been fantastic. Um, another one is um, Jenny Molin. She's uh, Jason Biggs' husband, but she's honestly better than Jason Biggs, so I don't even want to describe <laughs> her as Jason Biggs' husband. But she's fantastic. I mean, there have been really wonderful bright lights. Jerry Seinfeld and his wife, also Jessica, have been fantastic. Um, but they're few and far between. Mayim Bialik, another one. Um, but all of them are Jewish. Um, there have been no non-Jewish celebrities who have come out and said, believe all women, even when they're Jews. And you look at the situation and you hear from some of the voices who say you have to look at the context, you have to look at the, at the history. But why is it so difficult to look at such brutality and just call it out for what it is? Yeah, I, I would like to know what the appropriate context is for the brutal, brutal sexual assault of children and elderly women and, and young women at a music festival. There is no context for that. And what they're saying is, you know, it's okay to do this by saying that, you know, it's it's acceptable and it's it, it's okay to ask for context in certain circumstances. They're saying, you know, under some circumstances, it's okay to brutally rape and kill women as long as they're Jewish. Um, that is textbook anti-Semitism and deeply, deeply disturbing. And it's something that, you know, all of these keyboard warriors should have been talking about for the last two months, but they've been sort of sitting back on their heels because apparently when, when it's a brutal terror attack against Jews, we have to wait and see. Bethany Mandel, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Very much appreciated. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.